Hello everyone, so I hope you all are doing well and this is very important information that I have to share, right? So basically, uh, B BRC, that is Baba Atomic Research Center, are, are conducting recruitment for your bachelor student, okay? So if you are a bachelor student and you are willing to work after your bachelor's only, so definitely this is very good opportunity for you all, okay? So now let's discuss uh, this opportunity and the eligibility criteria. So basically, NRB, right? That is your Nuclear Re Recycle Board of Baba Atomic Research Center. They're inviting applications for your stipendary trainee category one and two, right? And the training will be conducted in your NRB, that is Nuclear Recycle Board, Tarapur and Kalpakkam. Okay, so they are taking recruitment for two uh, categories stipendary trainee category one that is group B post and stipendary trainee category two, right? That is a uh, group C post. Okay, so let's discuss these eligibility criteria. So, basically, as far as chemistry students are concerned, so you have four uh, four uh, post over here, okay, four vacancies in, in this stipendary category one. Okay, so for chemistry, you have one vacancy for ST one for obc and two for unreserved students okay what is the criteria uh, minimum 60 percent marks in your bachelor's okay so chemistry should be your principal subject and you should have mathematics and uh, physics as subsidiary subject all right so this is the criteria for chemistry students for stipendary category one okay so for stipendary category two that is group c post so you have two basically post okay first is a laboratory assistant you have only one a vacancy for st students okay or you can apply in this plant operator job also right so if you want uh, to learn uh, how we can just basically operate the plants okay how the shifts are working and what are the experimental things which usually the scientists do in brc you can apply for uh, this job okay so you have seven a uh, post okay seven uh, unreserved posts three for ew uh, ews and two for obc uh, SC, uh, right? So we don't have any post for SC. For ST people, we have three posts, okay? So the criteria is higher secondary in science streams with physics, uh, chemistry, and math subjects, okay? You should have minimum 60% as aggregate, okay? So this is for your plant operator. Uh, then second, we have laboratory assistant. We have only one post for ST category, right? For basically uh, ST, SC category, not ST, SC category, okay? Next is higher secondary in science team with physics, chemistry, and math subject with a minimum 60% in aggregate, okay? So these are eligibility criteria for these posts. And last date for submission of online application is 31st of January, 2021, okay? So make sure uh, you fill applications uh, before your th uh, 29th or 20th if you're looking forward for this recruitment, okay? next is age limit so for category one minimum should be 18 and uh, maximum age should be 24 for category two minimum should be 18 and maximum should be uh, 22 right so these are age limits next is physical standards minimum height is 160 centimeters and minimum weight is 45.5 kg okay but very important point which is written over here is the relaxable if the candidate is otherwise medically fit okay so if your weight is less than 45 or if your height is less than 167 and you are otherwise medically fit okay so you can apply for this job there is they won't be creating uh, right any issue in your application okay you can definitely apply for this job so total duration of training period is two years okay so this is a stipendary category that means you'll be given stipend also for your training okay so for first year right so in your first year of two years training you'll be given uh, you'll be uh, right they will be providing you 16000 per month for category 1 and 10500 for category 2 for second year uh, they'll be giving 16000 for category 1 and 12500 for category 2 right and now what is the selection ma method so uh, they will have one written examination of one hour duration right and it will consist of 40 mcqs and the syllabus will be your diploma or bsc level okay so those candidates qualifying in the written examination shall be shortlisted for interview right so if you pass this written examination then only they'll call you for interview right and they'll definitely uh, release the dates uh, afterwards okay uh, next is see what's written over here final selection and ranking will be on the basis of performance of the candidate in interview and no weightage will be given for marks scored in written examination okay the decision of ncnrb in this regard is final okay that means you basically you just have to qualify the examination okay no weightage will be given for marks scored in written examination you just have to qualify the examination and what matters is your interview okay how you're performing in in, in the interview basically that matters right and this decision in this regard is basically final so in the future they won't change this uh, rule okay so you just have to qualify the examination and you have 
have to focus on interview right next is category 2 so for category 2 what is the selection process the selection process is in three stages stage 1 stage 2 and stage 3 okay uh, first stage is they will have a, a, a written test for 50 MCQs, Mathematics, Science and General Awareness. Okay, the candidates with less than 40% for general category, less than 30%. If you're getting less than 40%, uh, right, and uh, less than 30%, if you're from reserve category, so you'll be screened out from this uh, recruitment process. Okay, so make sure if you belong to general category, you have to score above 40% and from reserve category, you have to score above 30% in this written examination. Okay, if you uh, qualify the stage one, then you will call, then they will call you for uh, stage two examination that is advanced test. Okay, so you can read the information from here. Stage three is skill test. Okay, so these are given uh, right uh, bullet points for your stage three uh, skill test examination. Okay, now uh, the next important thing is grade after successful completion of training. So you uh, once you complete your training, okay, so trainees will be considered for absorption in the following grade at the time of appointment. So once you complete your training, okay, so based on your performance during the period of training. And they will conduct one additional interview also after completing your training. So based on these two factors, uh, they will absorb you for your permanent job. Okay. So what is the grade pay or what is the entry pay for these two categories? So if, if you select, if you'll be selected under category one, so entry pay is 44,900. That is level C, a pay matrix. Okay. Next is category two, level three and level four pay matrix matrix okay so these are entry pays 21,000 and 25,000 right uh, next is that you'll be getting uh, definitely allowances also right next is next important thing is there's a bond okay so you have to, if you'll be selected in this training process so you have to sign a bond you have to execute a bond for completing your uh, training okay and even after completing your training if you'll be selected for a final absorption so you have to sign a bond for three years okay this means you have to serve nrb that is right your uh, recycle board for three years okay or any da unit okay so you have to serve them for three years okay so definitely they will have some amount for bond also so which they will disclose you after completing your uh, training and other uh, process okay uh, next is what what type of duties will be you'll be performing in your job so for chemistry operation of laboratory equipment with a uh, chemical analytical work okay so you'll be given this type of work in uh, category one and in category two for plant operator assistance in process of radiochemical plant and operation and for laboratory assistant assistance in chemical analytical work okay uh, next important thing is over here this is all in, uh, in information you can read from uh, this notification which I'll provide you in the description box and the last date for notification is 31st of January from this website you can go and apply for this job if you are applying for category 1 the fee for application is 150 and if you belong to SC, ST, PWD or women category so fee is exempted for you people right you don't have to pay anything for applying for this recruitment process okay uh, next for category 2 and direct recruitment this is there is 100 uh, amount 100 rupee for application form okay next important information which i uh, right would like to share over here is this one okay yeah i feel this is important information just a second right so this is the information next important information written examinations will be conducted at mumbai so this is the most important thing there will be no online centers you have to go to mumbai for written examinations okay so if you think you can go to mumbai for written examination and you are actually you want to work after your bachelor's so definitely this is a good opportunity you should apply for this uh, recruitment process okay 